Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Alexis Monet and before we get started, make sure you all hit that like, share, subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay everyone, so we all know that Nicki Minaj and Meek Mill once dated and their relationship did not end well. During the time of their breakup and public beef, there was a lot of rumors and speculation as to why their relationship did not work out. Now there was a lot of rumors and accusations about Meek Mill being physical with Nicki Minaj and not being the best boyfriend at the time. And allegedly these rumors are true because according to one of Meek Mill's ex-friend and associate, a lot of those rumors and allegations were true and he allegedly did witness some of these incidents. And if you did miss what he had to say, take a listen. We was on my times, we was riding our bike, we was riding these some bikes and shit, calling ourselves working out like that. Uh, we we started we we were staying at the um at the John up like the 20th Street. We ride we always down there. We wound up shopping down there. Uh, Webster, this this fuck who get the argument with this girl in his mall in his store because. She told that I ain't paying your tag. Go get your money out the hotel. He said, I just got 2000 on me. Much <clears throat> Like I can't borrow $6,000 or whatever many thousand dollars it is. They arguing real bad. They get to calling each other all kinds of crazy names. This corny dude starts spitting on. I said, yo, you crazy. I told him right then and there, you lost your mind. Nut. Arguing what? We get on the bikes all right, long story short. I'm going to cut because sure, I ain't want to say too much. This nut riding down the street, me, him, and Coon. I'm still willing, I'm riding, I ain't thinking nothing of it. This on Instagram writing a long message. This and Drake. This nut just did the argue with that girl. All that came about that girl. And don't nobody know what that beef was about, do y'all? About that girl. Because he was all insecure. And don't know I'll have a bad on his hip. He don't know I'll be that. He insecure. Telling she can't walk around the house with this and that on. Think he's looking at your girl. What's up with me and me, man? Man, I could put her out in the woods. We was always out Jersey somewhere in the woods. They could put her out the house. It's dark and shit. I had to go out there and get her. She cried right here. Am I lying, Nikki? Ask me, sister. She was there, and her baby father. He was there too. Am I lying, y'all? His mom was there. His mom go. Oh, I ain't lying. Yeah. Now, back in 2018, Nicki Minaj was about to release a documentary alongside her Queen album, but it was never released. However, she did drop a few clips on her IG page where she did discuss and alluded to her relationship with Meek Mill. Allegedly, she did confirm that he did get physical. So check this out. When my mother um, would let my father um, be violent with her. And she always brings up the story as a little girl. I would come in front of, I would stand in front of my mother and go like this. And I vowed, like, that's why I'm, like, maybe some people would describe me as abrasive or or whatever, because I vowed from that age, no man would ever me, call me out my name, treat me like that. And then all of a sudden, that was my life. Everything that I said, I would, was I going to inspire? When I had nothing in me to, to give. Like, I let one human being make me so low that, like, I didn't even remember who I was. I was scared to get in the studio. Like, I, I didn't believe in myself. I didn't... All of a sudden... In Miami, 
I started catching a vibe as soon as I went to Miami. Like, as soon as I changed locations, mm -hmm. started catching a vibe. And then one day I got the vibe, it's time to go to New York. And you were there, and you saw what was happening, and it started being incredible. Coco Chanel, sure. Miami, sure. Um, Good Form. All of those things just started as mumbles. Now in 2020, Meek Mill and Nicki Minaj did have a public spat on Twitter where Nicki also called him out and she did go on to say this. You beat your own sister and taped it, spit on her and taped it, kicked me in front of your own mother and sent her to the hospital. Sucking Drake's D made you feel tough again, move on. Now, the fact that Nicki did say this years ago and tweeted it out directly to him during their argument, to me confirms what the friend said, along with Nicki said a long time ago. If this is true, allegedly, Meek Mill is totally wrong, and I am glad that Nicki did end things and she did move on because that was very toxic and not a place where she needed to be. I am glad that she does have her husband now despite what people may say about him. We've never heard him being physical or being reckless with Nikki, and I can understand why Kenneth was upset when they did come across Meek Mill in the store when he did try to speak to Nikki. He was defending his wife and I can understand why now. And I'm glad as I said before Nikki does have her family, her husband and her son and I do wish her the best and I'm glad she got out of that situation. But you let me know how you feel about these topics down below. Thanks again for joining me for another video and until next time, bye.